Good morning and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. We're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about a disease called Addison's. Uh, it's actually not a very common disease, but it's hard to diagnose sometimes and it's hard to know that it's going on sometimes. So I thought I'd discuss it. Um, it typically happens um, in um, older animals or like middle-aged animals um, sometimes the studies show that it's a little bit more common in males than females but just a tiny bit it's almost 50 50 it's about 57 uh, percent males and um, we do see it occasionally a little bit more in Labradors and standard poodles uh, but regardless it can happen in any animal and basically what we see what it is is a decrease of normal um, steroids in the body and so by decreasing the normal steroids that affects other uh, functions and sometimes electrolytes sometimes not um, but it makes them feel really bad because they don't have the normal amounts that they should have the problem with diagnosing it is sometimes the blood work the on regular screening is normal sometimes it's not sometimes there are some abnormalities um, but also as well the symptoms are not very easy to catch so uh, one of the symptoms is just kind of chronic lethargy, so the dog just doesn't feel very well. Um, they just don't have as much energy as they used to, and that can go on for weeks and weeks. The other symptom that sometimes we can see is kind of those GI symptoms, meaning gastrointestinal. So um, just kind of an upset, they don't wanna eat, um, they may have a little bit of vomiting, um, they may have a little bit of diarrhea, but it's kind of that low grade chronic problem. And so basically what happens is if you're seeing that in your pet, then you need to go ahead and bring them in. We do need to do some regular blood screening to make sure that nothing else is going on because we can see similar symptoms in a lot of different diseases. And so we do the blood screening. There's two values that we're looking at to see if they're low, then it kind of gives us an idea. But even if they're not, um, if the symptoms are continuing and we're not finding anything else that could be causing them, then the next step is to do a very specific test that does actually test for the response of the steroid in the body. And that's called an ACTH stim. And that um, does take a couple of hours to to test and so once we find that out if it is positive then we can go ahead and place them on medication monitor their electrolytes and they can feel much much better and get back to health so if you're seeing kind of that chronic lethargy or, or any um, tummy upsets or anything like that make sure that you bring them in because it's, it's not normal the pet should be normal and healthy and happy and there's something going on that needs to be investigated if you have any questions let us know hopefully you have everybody has a great day bye bye